What to do, baby? Happy Good Friday, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, equity markets are closed. So, congrats. I mean, happy Good Friday to those of you who celebrate. So, what a good day to talk about crypto. We'll do a quick crypto update here, a couple of headlines, and we're going to talk about Bitcoin and some Bitcoin mining stocks, MicroStrategy, Coinbase, etc. All right, so Bitcoin, you know, all time highs over the past several weeks form this new base and you can think about this as a base where you're going to form a cup with handle which is essentially what you want to see it's most likely what's going to happen as we have some strong kind of pullback to the medium term moving averages and and in that case we'd form the head and shoulders right we have the left shoulder already basically the bottom of the cup we'd form the right shoulder if that pullback happens that'll be buying opportunity in most cases right you're going to form this base like we did back here in 2020 you're going to ride the you know the, the white moving average the four week moving average the short term right you're going to ride sideways four or five weeks and then break out right there's not a lot of sellers in this market right now we still have about a month to go into the bitcoin having give or take three weeks to go around april 20th right and what we're seeing now is the bitcoin's holding the 10 week the four week moving average right so we're trading sideways here this kind of high tight flag we did it back here um when we can trade sideways for a long time it can last two months and you can let the other moving averages catch up right they're going to support price so if they catch up and we trade sideways what you're looking for is the breakout candle right the breakout candle for example this week strong bullish candle here with a momo dot see the green dot on that candle after a few tight you know low range candles low volume you want impulse etc right that's essentially what you're looking for bitcoin should really get going here towards a hundred thousand right and it is what it is i made a video back here my last update i believe or around here somewhere and i told you guys don't sell your bitcoin this thing is going up this was a clear shakeout a hold of the three month moving average here the 12 week and you know shortly after we did presume that trend so bitcoin strong as ever some of these stocks i think they're a bit extended though i mean if you look at coinbase this thing the valuation on this thing i know valuations don't really matter especially for the trader um and you gotta you know it's not a value investor that's trading something like coinbase it's it's a crypto guy probably someone who's trading you know things like Aave, like a lot of cryptos filecoin these things trade at 10,000 price to sales anyways so but, but 900 this thing is almost at a thousand pe ratio in terms of coinbase can't be all crypto guys because crypto guys aren't crypto they're in DeFi, right they're on dexas uh, a lot of equities guys uh, look for crypto or blockchain exposure to the industry through some of these stocks and so there are definitely some investors that will be cognizant of the valuation the good thing is you have increasing volume on the way up you know this was the head and shoulders we called all the way back here so tremendous trade since then coinbase up about 500 percent. that's a 6x on your money and it's doing all the right things right higher highs higher lows to hold the moving averages higher highs with volume green dots impulsive pullbacks the moving averages higher highs again fresh green dots on the jupiter pendulum fresh jorbit dots what we have here is strong volume as well and so i do expect this thing to go higher preferably though you want to wait till earnings what you want to do is pull back it's a bit you know a bit of a higher high here for trying maybe a rising wedge developing here with decreasing volume with jorbit divergence um you can see the volume right here kind of decreasing right and so earnings are are in may maybe if you pull back for five or six weeks into those earnings a bit of a healthy pullback towards that 618 towards that three month or six month moving average that'll be a nice test right if you can get these recent highs to act as support and then that'll be an excellent buying opportunity in in my opinion where you can look to double your money and ride coinbase to all-time highs which i think it is headed to right a lot of times the picks and shovels plays the coinbase the exchange probably the better unless you're sticking to bitcoin probably the better bet here than trying to um predict the future or speculate on on a layer one or whatever it may be and so as long as you're cognizant of the current valuation it is a bit extended but it's doing all the right things so i prefer it on a pullback but again it could consolidate and continue breaking out we we'll just have to wait and see just like uh bitcoin it could just high tight flag micro strategy has gone even crazier right we made the video back here over 500 percent since that video same thing but a lot more vertical right this thing has gone absolutely ballistic right i'd wait for a pullback even if it high tight flags here you're gonna ride this thing over 2000 it's a bit of a leveraged play a high beta play on bitcoin they do take on some debt and they keep buying the bitcoin on on on, on debt and so this high interest rate environment we'll, we'll see what happens here 
I don't like it so high, but it's done it's done very well, right? A lot of these miners have slowed down, right? They're not as vertical as a Coinbase, as a micro strategy. Something like CleanSpark is doing well. Something like Marathon and others are not doing so well. Kind of ranging here, right? Ranging, you know, forming this consolidation symmetrical triangle, whatever it may be, maybe Riot and others not doing so well, right? And so CleanSpark has probably been the leader but you know, a lot of upper wicks on these on these weeks, strong volume, all time high volume. But again, these things for me are too extended. I'd wait for the first, you know, this is an impulse move, but it's it still hasn't even touched the green EMA, right? I'd wait for the first pullback to the green or the yellow, you know, the three or the six month, kind of a medium term EMA. You have to consider fundamentally, these stocks are about to cut their revenues in half or their profits in half because the Bitcoin halving might be a bullish event and they're all catching a bit because of that beta towards Bitcoin. But if you receive half the block reward after Bitcoin halving and your whole business is mining Bitcoin, well, you're about to cut your revenues in half. So it's not much of a, it's not a great fundamental forecast in terms of the income statement for some of these. And so that's something we have to consider maybe why there is some profit taken here ahead of the um, the having right some others let's take a look at eth i know they just had a major upgrade you know eth defended the three month ema the buyers came in volumes kind of oh, this is uh this is bit stamps so let's go over here yeah i mean i don't see much volume on eth but you know it's it's doing well solana which we've talked about very strong these are all you know clean volume what i'm what i'm looking at is DeFi and DeFi's. It hasn't caught a bit yet. It's kind of trailing here. Now, is DeFi going to die? I don't think so. I, I mean, I still think besides Bitcoin being a digital gold, a, a tool for saving, you know, for the new generation. Sure. Yeah, good. I agree. Um, especially if they're going to use it that way, they're going to use it that way. I, just, I think DeFi is the, the killer, the potential killer use case, right? I, I, I don't think everything needs to be tokenized. I don't think everything needs a blockchain. You know, GameFi is a great use case. We can own our assets, but again, what stops Nintendo, Sony, Halo, all these companies from just issuing their own tokens? And and then who's going to play these shitty blockchain games? So you know, a bit of a speculation there. But DeFi is the killer use case, right? And and um, you know, and I have my doubts, right? I don't know. I think it makes sense, and it's a killer use case, and all the fundamental pros about it are positives. But even though they're positives, I'm not sure the average human is just, I don't know, lazy. I'm not sure everyone wants to custody their own crypto, their own savings. And people might trust the banks more than themselves, right? You lose your wallet, you lose your passkey, and you kind of lose all your savings. I'm not sure everyone wants to custody their own shit. I'm not sure how much people, how, how much people actually care about centralization or decentralization. But assuming I do it, like the pros of DeFi are still the best pros. To me, it's the, the killer use case for crypto. But I bet some of these coins are slacking, right? But what, what I do want to note here is this hasn't taken off yet. But nobody's selling. And you see tremendous green volume throughout this entire accumulation, kind of like a Wyckoff accumulation phase. It's above the moving averages, pulled back and held them, making higher highs. No momentum here, right? No green dots or anything like that. No fresh green tags as far as the weekly time frame, but there's some serious accumulation. So I, I, I do think this thing's going to play out bullish sooner or later. It just depends on when that is. But there's some good science maker. On the other hand, tremendous, strong, a lot of real world asset stuff going on here. You can see the volume paying dividends there as maker rallies to new highs. I know they're going to have a bit of a stock split, stock split or whatever they want to call it, um, where they're going to make their token cheaper, which is going to be good because most people want to own a whole coin, right? They don't want a part of coin. 3,500 seems pretty expensive. So that should help them. Maker, always the strongest and a leader in DeFi. There was some news here about three decentralized platforms merging. Um, so Fetch AI, Singularity, and Ocean agreed to combine their crypto tokens into one and create an alliance for decentralized AI. So FET will become ASI, which will have a total supply of 2.6 billion tokens and a starting price of 2.82. The native tokens of Singularity and Ocean will merge into ASI. So that's interesting. I'm an Ocean Protocol holder, actually. Decentralized data, kind of another use case that sounds interesting to me. Decentralized AI, right? Open source models. Uh, you know, this is cool to see, right? Because decentralized data now merging with open source decentralized AI for an AI alliance. Pretty cool use case, if you ask me. So I think there has to be a vote from token holders. Um, Ocean's been doing absolutely tremendously 
past few weeks, right? Almost 300%, so that's a 4X on your money. Probably on its way to all-time highs here, like FET, which is even more vertical. Of course, these during the AI boom of the past year or so, these AI cryptos have been uh, absolute, I don't even know what singularity, Ajax, have been on a tear right all time ice here i expect the same from ocean but either way pretty cool they're gonna merge into one we'll see what happens there um bullish on that another potential use case for you know web3 makes sense too kind of like DeFi, but i don't know i don't know let me know your thoughts down below um but decentralized ai data okay but you're gonna compete with kind of like snow palantir and these kind of things we'll see okay but cool use case for sure it's worth trying. Okay, this is a little bit crazy. Dog with hat becomes the third largest meme coin. With if you're in these, you know, these charts are just absolutely crazy. They're just stupid. I mean, and some people get mad. I've heard a lot of people lately saying like, "Oh, you know, these elitist Bitcoiners, maxis, uh, say you can't trade." Listen, I don't care where you trade. It doesn't matter. Like if you're here to trade. You know to make money sure you know right but just know i mean but it is a fact there is no use case and these coins are stupid so just be aware of these valuations right be very aware of these valuations secure your profits is all i'm saying and don't 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 lose focus of what you originally came here to do if you've made money on these things make sure you lock in those profits they represent absolutely zero they are retarded so there is no bitcoin maxi elitist thinking you guys are stupid no you made money good for you but they are stupid don't don't confuse yourself either um it's like a meme you saw wolf of wall street the penny stocks that oh we listed where this firm in ohio that does this you see a picture it's a fucking hut in the jungle and it does nothing they just created a token a stock a public a company right and it's the same shit right and so uh just secure your profits and props to you if you killed the meme coin game crypto exchange kucoin violated anti-money laundering laws so not going to dive into this. It's very simple with this kind of thing. Don't risk it. If you have money on KuCoin, take it off. Custody your own. Move it to Coinbase or something uh, more safe. Um, whatever that is to you. And, you know, it's interesting because these exchanges have been putting out their reports, haven't they? Uh, I forgot what they were called. Their, their transparency reports. Oh, but it's AML laws. Okay, so yeah, probably. I mean, Americans use this shit for a long time. And um, that's true. I mean, I know it's true. No, but uh, don't risk it. That's it. Don't risk it. Bitcoin layer twos are poised to break out. Stacks creator Munib Ali says Stacks has been incredibly strong. Another high beta, kind of like the miners in the stocks world, but in the crypto world itself, kind of a high beta Bitcoin play, all time highs. So I will say this, you know, don't trade something like Polkadot, Cardano, these old dead tokens that aren't strong. You don't trade the, the laggards, right? trade the leaders and so my advice to you after the next pullback or consolidation if bitcoin consolidates here into that high type flag that we talked about for a few weeks and then breaks out towards 100k well focus on the cryptos that had strength they were up here at all-time highs consolidating like bitcoin or were even stronger they're going to be and perform better you always want to be in the leaders not the laggards right you want to be in the leaders not the laggards this is what it looks like right kind of a high type flag surfing the moving average you look for the breakout okay you look for the breakout and stacks has been particularly strong in that bitcoin use case and it is a nice uh, kind of basing pattern you got volume coming in and i would focus on this instead of trying to catch a laggard okay and you know this is crazy it's talking about bitcoin layer twos bitcoin layer threes are coming to three hundred ten thousand layers no one can keep up it's, it's a little i don't know but uh lastly i wanted to talk about tal shout out kylo a few people took this trade i know kylo was one of them and we had this you know this is kind of a long-term base breakout focus on the leaders right if you're gonna high tight flag into the moving average like so you look for that breakout candle on volume with jorbit dots that's a good trade first pullback to the green ma the three month moving average buy an opportunity what you had here was jupiter pendulum divergence with double green shades had a shade flip i know kylo took this one about a week later broke through the trend line and you had that momo dot so on volume strong pendulum bar lower time frame green tack good time to add form the high type flag into the four week moving average and absolutely exploded from here you're seeing a lot of red volume come in so if you're in something like this 
I'd be wary. I would trail pro, you know, stop loss right below this moving average right here, right below the weekly close or this these daily closes, and I would secure those profits, right? You have a bit of a head and shoulders right here in, in terms of DAO. And I'm talking about DAO because we just talked about AI. So this is kind of a decentralized LLM kind of token here. But you do have Jorbit divergence and pendulum divergence on this head and shoulders. So I'd be careful, right? It might be, you know, this is the breakout, the first test of the three, um, the, th uh, the three month. We might have that first test of the six month here. And so it's not worth giving up, you know, you know, almost 30% of your profits here. Of course, these are previous structure highs. It would be better to take these kind of 100% gains or so, secure them with a stop loss. When an opportunity comes down here, then, you know, that would be a better time to get involved and ride this thing for another 100% from a uh, sub 400 level just look for that setup when it arrives okay you're already building some pendulum divergence so you can make one more lower low without pink thought without jorbit thought for that divergence and you get a shade flip down here um that would be something worth watching right you have your fib 618 in the same area okay so look for the leaders this is another one of them right tremendous volume right volumes drying up a bit here so another reason to wait for that pullback to kind of the six month for another opportunity on the second leg of course it would be even better to show relative strength and hold the three month if bitcoin consolidates and take the breakout from there but still on a pullback these uh these leaders are worth um you know it's an uptrend it's higher highs and lows higher highs and lows it doesn't look like one of these things still down there still struggling trying to um you know get going when when the whole space has been in the bull market for over a year that's not something you want to be in right and so am i missing anything we've talked about you know some of these we, we talk about these stocks all the time in terms of hood breaking out pullback will be good square head and shoulders breaking out high type flag onto the four week these are looking good in terms of some of these stocks and i think that's it for today am i forgetting something nope all right guys love you so much thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe i'll see you on the next one um, peace and good luck much love